Yo, uh, Miller, Miller, Terry, Mindy, Doug. I just touched down with my niggas feeling good and shit. But my cousin's killing me, knowing I fuck with my homie sister and shit. Ply wanna get rid of me, but we ballers now and shit. Ain't no female dissing this, man, I flow to this. Watch how I add a lot of shit. Quick to take your necklace, ballin' with my kids, I perfect to this. See, Capone is about to take these five golden mics on. Cause I wreck this shit, I wreck the flip. Y'all next to flip, put a clip from the side of my hip. Pow! Game's over. This is where uh, Matias, who's the big boss, uh, his office with Alex. Oh, this Peace. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alex. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is where Bauer sits. This is my area. I also sell eggs on the side. <laughs> Bauer's coming in. Oh, he, he went out the other side. <laughs> I'm Rangstad. Try to do my best for Kaiser. I got a dick like this. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Thanks for buying this DVD. I'm Mark Cordy, chilling over here a little bit outside Kaiser headquarters. Out here at our little lake. Got the honeys out here. I'm gonna take the time right now to show you guys some of the things that are coming up. A little sneak preview. Let me start with. The new Fluid 2 frames. This is the Ian McLeod Fluid 2 frames. The edges here are much, much thicker. The groove's been changed. This is the Team Kaiser frame. Again, Fluid 2. The whole concept behind the Armortech frame is basically we wanted to make something that you customize the way you want, when you want. So the concept came from Seth Thunder, and the cool thing about that is, is that uh, you know a lot of kids and a lot of skaters like to write us and tell us ideas, and tell us things they got going on, and Seth he basically emailed us and said, hey, I've got this great idea, uh, but uh, you know I'm just a skater, you know, could you help me out? This is what became of it, so props to Seth on that one. Brandon Campbell being um, you know, a, one of the up-and-comers right now who's really blowing up, um, he likes to have you know, a smaller frame, as small as possible. So with that idea in mind, uh, we made another frame, which is going to be called the Midget Frame, which is shown right here. It's, if you like a small frame, you'll like this one. You'll like this one a lot. All right, this right here is called the Omar Weissong Freestyle Frame, or will be called. It's still in the prototype stages, but uh, as you can see here, this is a skatable sample out of diamond material. So we know it's the best material for skating there is. Another thing we got coming out, Kaiser Grind Rocks in 40 millimeter, the diamond type, um, which spin as well. Uh, what it is, is it's a skin, basically, and uh, you can open it up. I think the very first idea that we had about putting it on anything was from Josh Petty. I think Josh Petty a long time ago wanted to have a zipper on his skate, but it didn't turn out the way we wanted it, so we decided not to do it. But uh, a little bit later on, the technology got a little bit better, and uh, we put this over boot, basically which you can put on any skate, just slip it over the skate, you know, zip it up, close it up, and then you got... Yeah, your skate looks totally different. Bauer's new, new tire. <laughs> Kaiser's over here. Oh, the seat. Oh, Kaiser's on that side of that point. Mm -hmm. This is our warehouse, guys. You're the guys that take all your Kaiser frames, pack them up, send them out to you. This is Reiny, Peter, Marcus. Come on, I'll show you some Kaiser stuff. We, we see an ass and titties. <laughs> Small diamond frame. Right here. Hey, Josh, give me one of them frames. All right. <laughs> Say hi, Ingo. All right. Ingo. Ingo's the one that packs everything and sends it out.
God. Look, you've seen our video. You know our team riders. You know our products. Uh, if I see you skating anything else than Kaiser, I don't know, man. I might just have to go mark Cordy on your ass. Peace. Really good. All right, now. Wait a sec. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Now that you've had to come, uh, <laughs> you know, if you haven't tried Kaiser, you know, something wrong. You need to be checking this out. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> check us out. Hell yeah. Fucking so corny, man. Oh, a couple naked people. There we go. Mommy ain't too bad. <laughs> oh, here you go. You got to do a sweeping low shot when you go by here. Sweeping low. <laughs> Another sweeping low shot. <laughs> no, let's go up to people and like take apart the armor tech frame and lay it on the ground and say, put this together and I'll give you fucking a euro. And they're just like, okay. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Oh, actually, you know what? That'd be cool. Hey, give me your armor tech. I'll ask you. Easy. Shit, easy. Oh, other way, other way. Other way. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay. Kaiser. I wanted to talk a little bit about Kaiser, how it came about. I remember way back in the day, uh, we started Kaiser just kind of out of an idea so that we could make OEM for, you know, USD skates and stuff at a cheaper price. Back in the day, it was pretty much just 50-50 and sent it. That was about all you had um, as far as frames went. And uh, so we started, you know, making our own frames and whatnot with a lot of help from Dustin Latimer and Champion, who were the team at the time. Then uh, we just continued. We started with the stream frame. We put the writing on there and thought it looked pretty cool. And uh, kind of just checked it out. And then, uh, you know, Dustin and, and Champ started, you know, really liking the frames. And they were coming out on their pro skates. And so we decided at a certain point that, you know, we need to really concentrate on Kaiser with UFS and everything. That uh, we need to, to make a company that basically comes from the slogan of holding aggressive together just holding like everything that you need for skates that you can't get from a skate company or you know from another company basically Kaiser would do so we grew and then we got to fluid frame and it was pretty tight frame and uh, we just decided yeah we're gonna do this um, we're gonna make this happen we got you know some some other items axle kits and and we started doing some wheels and we did you know all the anti rivets and all the things that you just normally don't get you know, at a, in you know, a skate company or whatever. And then uh, we started coming out with, you know, different ideas like grind pins. Grind pins was an idea that basically the less material you have on a, on a rail or on a, on a curb or, you know, any grinding surface, the faster you're going to be. So basically what we did was, you know, we made these little grind pins that went on to inserts in the frame. And then uh, that worked out pretty cool. We tried, you know, experimenting with other stuff and just, you know, just tried to get the best thing we could, you know, out of the company and the outlet for that was basically Kaiser. So then we started getting other riders that were influential, really starting to like. I think it took off when, when we reformed the team. The original team, we had guys like Jonah Messerly, who was just an amazing guy, Anthony Mackey. Um, just some other European riders. We really wanted to get, you know, a team together where everybody would be recognized, you know, not just pros in the States who were going off and whatnot. I mean, fair enough, the you know, pros in the States in the States are amazing. There's no question. But there's a lot of other guys, you know, especially on my flow teams that I kind of wanted to give a chance 
with guys like Josh Latona, um, you know, just all different types of guys, Chuck Ito. And so uh, basically, you know, it started going off, started working. Um, and now, you know, we got like five different types of frames. We got freestyle frames. We're working on different projects. We've got over boots. We've got all these different, you know, um, ideas that you can either like or you don't like. You know, if you feel you need it, then you, it's there. If you feel, you know, it doesn't work for you, you know, you don't have to buy it or whatever. Um, you know, we keep it at a low price so it's, you know, everybody can afford it, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, I think that's the coolest thing behind Kaiser's, you know, is, you know, we're thinking about the, the skaters, you know, we're thinking about, you know, how we're going to make things work and we're thinking about, you know, what can we do that helps skating, helps support skating. And one of those out, outlets is, you know, basically the whole Kaiser idea. So, you know, I think that breaks it down right there. Kaiser, the slogan is holding aggressive together. And that's what we do. So, you know, check us out. If you don't know us, you will pretty soon.